I'm hoping you're having a marvelous Monday. We're going to do a pipe welding demonstration here on gas tungsten arc welding root on four inch schedule 40. <clears throat> Couple of methods here that were preferred. This is my old tried and true just from stuff that I've done over the years that's worked well for me. I put three tacks in here, one at 12 o'clock, one at 10 o'clock, and one at two o'clock. And the way I come off the bottom of a pipe is to rest the filler wire on that tack. I have a loose 332 fit and I will put my thumb against the pipe and I'm actually looking through the groove and feeding the wire on the bottom until I get up to about this point. I want to say that's about eight o'clock or so. And then I will take the cup and rest it in the groove and go for a little wiggle the rest of the way. To me, that just seems quick. I'm confident with it and I get the results that I want. I want to try to draw some reinforcement for the root on the inside of the pipe. That's my goal. I don't want to leave it flat. I don't want to leave it concave. Obviously, I don't want to make a big old bump in there either. I just want to keep it in a nice little profile in there with some reinforcement. I'm gonna demonstrate that again. I'm gonna demonstrate that so that I'm resting my thumb on the side of the pipe and I'm gonna come up here where I'm confident with it. Uh, I like to come off the bottom, feed the wire kind of from the inside, come up a little bit, rest the cup in there and walk it the rest of the way. Just one of those things that I've gotten used to a long time ago. Let's give it a go. I got a little shaky start there, but got, uh, got in my comfort zone and took off and it looks okay. It's washed in there pretty good. Broke down the edges, got a little reinforcement. Again, there's multiple ways of doing this, whether you prop fingers against the pipe, whether you freehand with the heel of your hand, whether you walk the cup, you know, the main thing is got to have a little reinforcement got to got to break the walls down got to have a little reinforcement inside the pipe for the root okay Pushing wire on the leading edge, coming up to attack. I'm gonna heat the whole thing up, back up a little bit, put some wire in it. Wait for the leading edge of that to break down. Add wire, keep right on going. You can cut those out with a thin bladed grinder, that's fine. I just kind of look at them before I before I get going, if they're large and the leading edge looks cold, I will stop and grind them out. But if they're blended in, I just weld right through them. So I hope this helps. Let us know in the comments if you're having troubles. Again, clean the inside of the pipe. Make sure you clean the inside of the pipe, clean your bevel face and you know, do yourself a favor and keep everything as clean as you can. Relax, run these, try to get some confidence. When you get the hang of it, it's just, you know, the, it's, it's there. You might struggle for a little bit. I certainly did when I was teaching myself pipe. I struggled, but I kept with it and I finally got it. And it's, it's like, you know, the bell goes off, the lights come on, it's all cool. So appreciate your subscription to weld.com. Hit the dinger bell for the notifications. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram.